Guys, Diesel here. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm having to use a different headset this time. Um, and I've also changed up some things on this farm and also I've changed up how I will be playing on here from now on. Uh, gonna be a little bit of a lag real quick. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, I had to reconnect my controller. Um, one of the big main things that I'm going to be doing from now on is using steer wheel pedals. Um, I'm going to be using my G920, uh, I do believe it. Yeah, 920 because the G29 is PlayStation. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Uh, as you can see, I've rearranged all this in general and added on that, all that, the cows, horses, uh, a couple extra uh, grain bins, um, mixed rations down there, and uh, a little shed, two chicken coops, large chicken coops. Um, and then I just basically got this big shed here in place of... Uh, the shop and that shit over there, which I basically moved that shed from over here to over there, and then I got the shop uh, where we can do the work. I still got this one right in this area, but the barn one is on the other side of that building there. So, but no, I don't know if I can go in here. Dum dum. Got two new cedars. Which I, I done bought these after we seeded. Um, so, got two new ones. We're going to be using, we'll still be using at least one of these smaller ones. Um, and I actually have uh, put up the 450 Big Bud. So, um, that's another thing I'm going to show you guys too. Notice the baler. Mm hmm. That's not the only new red on the farm. Well, if I can get this to close. Can you close? Thank you. We got to run in here. I'm going to look downward so you can't see. I know where it's at, though. Dum dum. We own our own quad track. So. I'm going to turn that off. I don't know why that's on. Uh, field info. There it is. Okay. But, uh, yep. We got our own case quad track. This one's a bigger engine than what we uh, demoed. But, uh, after the demo, I was able to, uh, talk with case and you know was able to work out um a price to get for it and so we finally got it so we have a 620 instead of the five what it was a 540 i think we t uh, tested so we got that i also have because i was able to work out some we had really good credit with the bank but uh i was able to get us the chrome Big M mower, which I plan on using for cutting the grass and everything for the cows, so which is good. And uh, the only buds we got in here now are the two six hundreds and the seven four seven. So um, we still, I'm still keeping one of these. I'm still keeping both of these cedars, but uh, we'll only probably be using one, maybe for now on. But if we increase, which we have, as you can see, yeah, we all filled 14, 19, 18 now. Um, so, we do have that. Well, you still don't work on this thing. I don't know why the lights aren't working. But, uh... But yeah, whenever I basically do this moving around, stuff like this and everything, and also probably when I do it front end loaders and stuff, I'll be using my controller. But because as of right now, I got my controller on. 
I got my G920 connected um, and also have my side panel connected which I can use to look and everything which I, I do for the most part um, whenever I am driving and everything so um, currently I have the brute out in the field um, we've been, uh, we've been, I've been kind of doing that off screen and everything I've been doing a lot of extra stuff off screen um, got some new trucks and another seed trailer um, basically one's fertilizer and one's seed um, we're going to open this up see so right here's a little side shed um, any pieces of equipment I don't really use much will be put in here as you can see I put my 450 in here um, so but we're going to close that um, and of course you got the horse trailer and like I said I got the horses the I got horse cows and chickens um, this shed over here that I bought is going to be used for bells um, so will basically be belling the strath that's left after we harvest um, but what I'm having the brute do and the reason why we got that new big boy over there is um, weeds are starting to come in the field so I got the brute over there spraying pesticide um, I haven't started them up yet with the worker, but you know, I'm getting there. Um, also, too, another thing is there has been an updated version of this map. So I downloaded it, got it in. I didn't have to redo a save, but there is something I'm going to have to work on later on. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys now. If you notice, it basically don't even look like I plowed the center of the fields and stuff. So, basically the map did a refresh, but, um, you can see right there's that, and see, that's where all them trees were and everything like that. Um, the ground did a reset, but all my crop and everything is still in the ground. So, probably after I harvest and, uh, bail everything up, I will have to come back through and replow that and stuff. I'm not going to replow everything, you know. I'm just going to go through and replow the field separation stuff and all that. Um, far, but far as I know of, none of the water or anything like that has come back into the uh, into the fields. So, but like right here, you can see it's not plowed. So, but there's no water added in. And then also another part, big part of the update version of this map is we have traffic now in the game, in this map. So but it's mainly on this strip of road. Um, so, but I do on this field now. Um, which all these fields right here, I I will have to fix um, the this field, this field, and this field, and this one. Which this is actually one whole field right here, but of course got the roadway separating them. But I gotta fix even this one with the grass. I gotta fix it so that way um, we won't have standing water in it because um, I hate that kind of field. But uh, I do plan on moving over here, though. Um, but it's just going to take some time. But I was able to work out some stuff with the bank where we could own all this land here and everything. And uh, basically, we own all these buildings here and the house and this grass field, this field here of sunflowers, um, this grass field, and this little field here. And then basically, our neighboring field, field 14, to this end of our field 13 and 12 so um, but yeah so and I mean I got more tree cutting projects and connecting fields up like right here would be a good instance um, possibly cutting out these trees which actually there is a dirt little dirt road in here I noticed the other day whenever I got whenever I was playing and uh, basically just cut uh, this little stand of trees out here. There, uh, yep, there you go. Basically that little square stand of trees from here 
to over here out and basically plow up through here and then connect right here and just kind of connect that and get rid of the grass um, kind of ordeal stuff but um, so yeah and another uh i know i'm taking so long on doing update stuff but uh I have noticed an update that Giants has done. Um, I don't know if it's actually kind of been like a public update type ordeal. Which, while I'm talking about this update, I'm going to go through and... I need to put my controller down. Um, let's see... Where's the Brute? Should be coming up on the Brute. Yeah, there we go. Okay, get him going. Um... But, uh, Giants has done an up, a little update. I don't know when it was, but, um, it was some, I think it was sometime recent, though, because now whenever you place down grass, like whenever you do the paint stuff and landscaping, um, the grass that you actually can paint actually grows now. Um, and the reason why I know that is because whenever I, I play, um, Oakfield Farm, you know, I don't, I'm not doing really no, um, let's play thing on Oakfield Farm right now, and, uh, basically, um, there's one portion that I went through and, uh, painted grass, so that way I could, um, not have to worry about bushes like what I'm just sweeping right there on the side that the author has put in on the map that Oxygen David put in on it and so I wasn't really expecting that grass to grow well guess what it grew apparently because it's all even it's all long so um, that's one uh, new thing um, but yeah so we finally got our quad track um, trying to think there ain't really much for us to do um we could well no we actually need to go um, yeah we're gonna stay in the bud because uh as you can see it's running out of herbicide right now so we're gonna stay with the bud until he runs out um and another thing too that i am currently using is the um, diesel exhaust fluid or DEF. While he's right here, I'm actually going to stop him so I can go um, load him back up. But uh, I am using that mod now as well. Um, I need to add the pump because you can have either a storage type thing where you buy the fuel from the store in little gas containers. I uh, totally messed that up myself. But, um, and then also there's a pump you can buy for it. Um, so, I got the pump on, uh, on, uh, uh, Oxygen David's map I was just talking about. I cannot remember the name of it to save my life. So, okay. Come on, why in the heck are you not wanting to... Because I know the button to load. As you can see, I've just done it with that other sphere. Oh my lord. Okay. I don't, what the hell? This is not making any sense at all. I mean, 
that's cool. I never noticed that on there. And right now I'm currently driving with my controller real quick. Because I want to see something. That works. Okay. Anyways. But yeah, that's basically all this uh, video is going to be about. Is basically, um, you know, spraying the fields, keeping them good. Because um, we haven't really done much with the brute. So... Uh, I just figured I would do some video in, of the brute in work and action. Um, so that way we can, uh, that way y'all can see the brute working. So I'm going to let this guy take back over. If I can get him to spray right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get back in this truck. I'm gonna just lower that back down. No, we need to raise it. Okay, there we go. But we're gonna take this back and we're gonna reload it. So, it's very quiet in there. Or I guess the sound of this truck is not as loud as the brute. So, it's very different. <laughs> but, uh, and I had to switch up my braking pedal from here. It's the only one that's different than any other game, like Euro Truck, American Truck. Because, of course, I'm not using the shifter, so I don't need the clutch pedal. But, for some odd reason, on my pedals, the brake pedal is always the hardest to push down out of the three. So I went ahead and made the clutch pedal, the brake pedal on here. So that way it's easier for me to apply the brakes and then also easier for me to stop quicker than what I would have been able to do. So, but yeah, so, and I've actually kind of been getting used to I'm actually getting kind of used to using the wheel on here now, so cause I've been playing, using it for the last two days, I think. So, so we're going to refill this herbicide. Check this out. Um, so. Oh, I know why. Oh, I know why it's like that now. It's because of where the map kind of basically reset itself. now so basically it's not the workers are not going to get the portions that um, 
I got growing in between like the fields and stuff, the work is not going to get that much. So it'll stop after it does each field. So that's uh, going to give me even more of a headache whenever I deal with that on other on all my fields after the video. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do more videos soon um, and possibly a live stream. Um, I'm going to try to get this video up tonight, but um, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, I should be able to make more videos and stuff soon because for some odd reason at my work, um, it has the. I, they're trying to transition from what they are used to to something new and it, it, it involves um, like their contract stuff with uh, different stores and everything like that so um, basically with it being slow like that it's going to be getting low hours and everything and you are going off course like fucking brute driver you dumb muffa stay going straight rope thank you now he's going the right, right way but um <gasps> excuse me uh, I'm going to get back in this truck here. And we're going to take this out to back to the brute because the brute don't hold as much as that other sprayer. That's the reason why I'm trying to keep uh, the brute more and keep this over there with the brute. But, um, so yeah, with them, ha with them doing that change, and everything uh, we're not really getting much production so um, already next week I already got two days off during the week next week and along with the weekend so my next check is gonna be horrible because uh, yesterday I went in at 2 30 and got off at 6 and then today surprisingly worked till about 9 o'clock from 2 30 um, and then uh, tomorrow, don't know. So, and then don't know what's going to happen Friday either. So, um, it's just up in the air right now. So, um, but I'm hoping with some of the downtime, I can do uh, more videos and stuff like that. So, All right. since I'm done right in this area, I'm going to the truck up through here I'm gonna try not to take it the truck in the field if I can help it but knowing how things are I'm probably gonna have to drive it out to the field yeah, here comes brute. Don't look like he's going through too much right now. This worker. So getting very dirty. Becoming a very dirty brute. <laughs> but uh Yeah, so which it should be coming up on that first separation yeah he is so we'll see what this worker does because right here is the separation point of field uh 77 and 78 so but like i said i'm hoping it don't mess up like that all the time so But until we get our crop harvested, I can't do nothing about it. 
So, yeah. And then also, there is a mod I want to show you guys, too, that um, I'm thinking about doing next time we go seeding, whenever we seed. <laughs> it's an Australian-based seeder, okay? And I'm going to have to buy two of these, two of the seed hawks. And it's this big behemoth. This is what this behemoth looks like. The fold up is weird and everything. Cool, but weird. And the guy that actually made it said it was ugly. It's like an ugly fold. But it's 214 feet wide. And that's on farm sim terms, that's 70 meters. And you need 600 horses to pull it. So it'll make the quad track bark good bit but I mean we'll probably end up using the bud for it <laughs> oh shoot yep and that worker didn't get that corner either over here god almighty something I gotta deal with I guess but only until we harvest it. So once we harvest it, we'll be good to go. So don't be surprised if we jump back to um, seeding at some point. But uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know it'll be rinse and repeat from what I've posted so far um, and everything, but um, why am I driving with the controller? So stupid. But, um, you know, I just, I think that it'd be kind of good to do the, show the plowing again, fixing everything, and then going right into the seating and everything. Because I will have to do, uh, I will have to bail, um, afterwards. So, yeah, I will have to get the bells out of the field and everything out of the field like that first before I can do anything. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here before I go back up through there. I want to get the whole field done before I do that little portion up there, like the whole connecting fields and everything. So, but we're going to go through and get this done first because uh, technically this portion here was separated by an actual piece that's not part of the field and then it's got the little grass field that had available so but yeah you know guys actually can get, get uh, put the brute to work myself I'm not just a worker uh, we are going to have to drive back to the pickup and get um get refilled Apple G has completed their task it's going to be interesting to see where he's at oh looks like he actually did do it right a little bit we'll find we'll check out check it out though here in a minute on the map whenever we go to the pause mm -hmm. But yeah, I am doing Oakfield Farm. Um, I, I, I don't really know if you guys want me to try to do a series on that or not. Um, so, uh, I mean, that's totally up to you guys if you want me to. Because I know there's a lot of um, British people going to be doing, uh, you know, especially people I've, I follow, like uh, Dagwin. He's already been doing it, um, a series. Uh, I don't know if there's... Because Stocko, he's not, I haven't really seen him post much lately. I um, hope everything's alright with him and whatnot. Um, I do miss seeing his videos and everything. I do occasionally go back and watch through them all. Um, like I normally do. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's good to listen to those guys whenever I'm farming by myself and not doing a video. Uh, I like to, I really do like to just 
put them on my YouTube, regardless if it's on my Xbox or TV. Because I do have a smart TV where uh, I can have YouTube on it. Um, so if I don't, if I decide not to turn my Xbox on one day, that'll be on my TV. But um, for the most part, I do like listening to Stocko and Dagwin when I play Farming Sim myself. Because it gives me, it, it kind of gives me ideas of what to do on my farm and stuff just by watching them and everything like that. So, um, it's just kind of cool to be able to do that. And, um, I, think, uh, I don't watch them nearly enough though, you know. Mainly Dagwin, I don't watch him enough, as much as I want to or would like to, um, you know, so. But Stocko, like I said, I just ain't heard nothing from him lately and don't know if something was happened to his computer. Because I know he was having computer problems before. Um, I hope it, it's not the computer problems, but, you know, and I hope that nobody in this family is ill or sick or whatnot um i'm gonna try to kind of get in touch with him because uh, there are some times that i can get in touch with him and everything right, let's refill refill i don't know why i said refill fuel but we're going to refill this bad boy and then i guess before i continue on to the next shield uh i guess i will finish up that that one corner um, so, alright, um, let's go, so, um, how am I going to do this, because I got that fence right there, which actually I need to get that little bit of edge that all oh, the workers missed on that one edge, yeah, see, the workers missed a good bit right here. So we'll probably go ahead and unfold. And with me doing the steering wheel and pedals, it makes me want to do more more of this myself. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Because, <laughs> I mean, I know some of the stuff is boring and everything like that. So, um, And another thing, too, I really do hope you guys can hear me good on this headset. Because it's the one I use normally for American truck. Um, but I did just notice uh, earlier, right before I started recording, that um, I do. there are some bad spots on the cable. So, um, which I'm hoping does not affect the headset at all. Because if it does, that's going to stink. Uh, but I mean, hell, it's only a $20 headset when I bought it about two years ago actually it's yeah it's been a little over two years ago now so I don't really want to do this but because I don't want to spray it and spray that in the water but that's, what, that's just me so but um anyways yeah so I've noticed uh, at least two bad spots where the wire skin or the, you know the black outer shell of the wires um, the skin part of it is actually messed up um, it's punctured um, but as far as I can tell there is no wire damage it's just the skin outer skin of it so but um, but if I do end up having to get a new headset um I'll either get another one of these or I don't know, I'll try to give me a good, um, decent headset to use. So, but we're going to have a worker do this one. I'm going to make sure, though, he doesn't, he ain't veering. Nah, he's good. Okay, so. Right, let me get this guy going. How much has he done? And of course, right down to the power pole. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up. 
because what we're going to do is we're going to get this little bit up here that the worker didn't get. And then we'll go down there to that one power pole section. And cut, well, actually, we'll go to the very end, come back up, finish off the, this field here. And then what we'll do is refill and end the video. Basically, this is a uh, spraying video. So, um, I mean, we don't really have to spray uh, any of the fertilizer, which is good. Or spray any fertilizer. Um, that's less money to worry about going out the door. But, um, yeah. So, we'll, we'll just have to see how everything goes and whatnot. Um, just trying to keep the weeds down in our fields is what my main primary goal right now until we can harvest. Um, and then, of course, after... Once we harvest everything and I can actually bell up some straw bells and stuff like that, then I will probably, while we're waiting on barley to grow, because after we do this, do wheat, we're going to do barley. So, after barley grows, or while barley is growing, I'm going to start cutting some grass for the cows. Um, and I want field in front of the house and then uh, of course over here right beside field 14 and stuff we'll, we'll use hose um, and then that one right over there beside field, uh, what field is it? 19 yeah one in between, uh, between field 18 and 19 so um, ugh, it's getting close talk about cutting close well, this is going to be tricky I'm kind of glad a worker ain't doing this one because this is going to be tricky for me because you got to make sure you're not you got to make sure you're over far enough to get the, all the weeds but not too far over to hit the poles Whew. so I like having a precise steering now and the reason why I've gone to the using my G920 uh, wheel uh, is because of the fact that um, you know it's just simpler to have something with precise steering instead of constantly jerking of the analog stick on the controller but I honestly wish I had the heavy equipment steering wheel that you can get for farming sim but um, Logitech is sold out of them as it says on their website but and they even got a price cut on it it's like two hundred dollars instead of three or four whatever it is whatever it was and there's a price cut on it so but every time I go and look it's back ordered so and I mean honestly I don't really care if it's made out of crappy shit and everything pardon my language I'm Saudi but uh, I honestly just want the steering wheel because the steering wheel has analog sticks. That way I can move around and not have to worry about having an Xbox controller, you know, attached to my computer while I'm playing farming sim. Because it's irritating for me to uh, have to use either the controller or the keyboard to walk around whenever I'm using the steering wheel. Whenever I can use my steering wheel base for everything. I don't even need the side panel, honestly. The only reason why I have the side panel and use it is because I realize I can use I can change the cruising speed and then also the little stick on there to you know, turn the camera and everything and then I haven't done much with the front loading yet on it. That's going to be my next learning curve, is to do that, but, yeah, so, but I'm tired of having to switch my controller when I do that and get out, want to get out and everything, but, so, yeah, but I was really skeptical about doing that because of what I just talked about, you know, having to use controller to walk around and everything, but, you know, after doing it a bit, I realized I'm actually more in a tractor, a vehicle longer than I am on foot. So, after using a little bit, I'm like, oh, okay, I can, I can deal with this. 
But the only times I won't be using it is whenever I need to play a game that requires keyboard, like Emerge NYC. Um, so, but uh, and also too, I really can't use my controller that I'm using now on my PC to stream, to do my headset stuff. That's the reason why I'm having to go back to my headset that I use for ATS and ETS when I, if I do end up doing ETS videos. Um, cause the earplug jack on my old, on my controller I was using for my Xbox basically died. Like it would it is not working. So I had to get a new controller in general because the earplug jack ain't working. So the one for the PC was working. So I just swapped the controllers. I mean, the controller basically works except for just for the headset part. So, but, so yeah. So a lot of things have changed, you guys. We're expanding the farm. We've got new equipment, bigger, better equipment to use in the future whenever we go to planning and stuff. We're going to try out some new equipment in the future. Um, and there's still some new things coming um, whenever uh, it comes to harvesting time. Uh, we'll be, we're going, we are going to be trying out new equipment, but I ain't saying that equipment yet. So, um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, and I am sorry for all the rinse and repeating in all the videos, but I do appreciate the people that do watch these videos. Um, I don't know if you watch them all the way through or not, but uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, taking the time out of your day, watching these videos with no editing whatsoever. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, honestly, shouldn't have to edit if it's sh showing pure farming and what farming has to deal with. I mean, real life... Yeah, it's over a longer period of time, but it's still over and repeat. You know, prepare the fields for seeding, seed the fields, let them grow, harvest the fields. And then, when the springtime comes again, even after throughout the year, same thing. So, I mean, it's basically rinse and repeating, rinse and repeating. So, that's another reason why I went ahead and put the animals in here. So, that way it gives us something a little extra to do while we're waiting on the crops to grow and stuff. So, um, but I definitely plan on uh, doing some harvesting videos whenever we get to that stage. So, no telling when we'll get to that stage. But, um, if we go back and look... Um, Wow, there's actually several spots he missed in the middle of the field. Um, as you can see, they're all in the middle green. Yeah, about middle green. They're not the dark green yet, but it's the shade right before it. So, um, field 14 and 18 that I own now are in that sh uh, dark shade of green. So, those should be ready for har harvest soon. So, um, yeah. But I do want to work my way over to this, like this little block here, and also this one here, and then we we'll end up worrying about this way down the road, um, which to, that field right there is going to be 1.3 million dollars. That one there is half a million. So yeah, we got we got a lot of money earning to do. Um, so yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like you you like all the new improvements and everything. And uh, like I said, here soon I should be able to do more videos. I'm hoping they'll be a little more active, considering we can do uh, um, animals now since I got the animal pens and everything for them now. So we'll just see how everything goes. Um, go with the flow of the game, you know. So. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, God bless and happy farming.